Jennifer is bringing in a little baby goat that she has in the house. The mother rejected it. They are very fun animals. They just dance and jump, except this one is not because it has a very sore leg. Jennifer thinks it's broke. You want to stand up? I'm hoping they can fix their leg and we don't lose it. She's my baby. Hello. Hello. Okay, which one leg? Her, her right back leg. Joint. I know that hurts. <laughs> you don't need an exit to find out if leg is broke or not. When I examine it, it is not. This is an infection. Yes, this came from the navel. Feel this here. Feel that pipe in the navel? Yeah. There was an infection, and it settled in the joint. Oh, my goodness. And most likely what happened is when she was born, the wet navel picked up some bacteria, and then they actually go into the bloodstream. That's bad. How that's big? And they settle in the smallest arteries, which are in the joints. I'm going to try to stick a needle in there. I want to see what comes out. Bacteria-ridden joints. Okay, hold still, sweet. Are tricky to treat. There's a lot of infection in there. The main problem here is that you cannot get much antibiotic into those joints in order to counter the infection. What I do with those is penicillin. Okay. Especially when there's nothing broke, I put them on a very high level of penicillin. And that seems to be working for me all the time. Here, a bunch of syringes, small ones. Okay. I'm feeling much better that now that she's been checked out, it's not a broken leg and it's not dislocated. So get 100 cc, 2 cc every day. Our love for 20 is pretty good. See ya. As long as she can keep the antibiotics coming in there, she should be able to run around and dance like a goat. We have 20 plus goats and when Twinkie gets a little older, we'll start incorporating her out into the regular pen with everybody else. <laughs>